Today I'm going to solve another expert puzzle from PAP Publishing. This is puzzle number 99 from volume 1 or volume 29. I've solved a lot of the puzzles in this volume. They seem to allow a lot of techniques that I like to use, so they've been fun to solve. They're challenging, but they're not the hardest puzzles. But like I said, they're fun to solve, so I've enjoyed solving them. In this puzzle we find twins and triplets, double row elimination, and a few other techniques and patterns that I'll mention as we go. Right off the bat we have a 2, 6, and a 9 here, so these are 2, 6, 9 triplets. And uh, at first it looks like we can't solve those, but we can because we've got a gate pattern here with a 2 going through the gate and a 2 here. So one of these is a 2 right here. And there's a 2 there, so that means that has to be a 2. And with that 2, we can solve the 6 and the 9. And that leaves 1 and 8 in this box. 1, 8, one eight twins in this box. Now, let's see. We've got a few numbers that are pretty easy to find, so let's, let's put those in. So there's a 9 there, 9, 9, 9, and ghost 9, so that's a 9 right there. And then we've got a 9, 9, 9, so that's a 9 right there. Alright, and now we're missing, let's see what we're missing in this row right here. 1, 4, 6. 1, 4, and 6. There's a 1 here and a 6 there, so that is a 4. So we have 1 and 6 left. Now, um, <clears throat> we have another set of twins in box 5 here. Um, there's a 5 here, 5 here, 5 there. So 5. Ghost 8's here, 8, 8, so eight, so five eight twins there. So one six, five eight, and that only leaves two cells, so those are three and four. There's a four here, so we can solve the three and the four. But we can't solve the one six or five eight yet. But then we also have a three here, because we know these are 1-8 twins, and these were 3-4 twins that we found a minute ago. All right, let's look at what's left in this box. We're missing 1, 2, 7. And there's a 1 and a 2, so that's a 7 right there. We can't solve the 1 and 2 yet. All right, let's see what else we can find here. We've got 6 here, 6 here, 6 here, so that's a 6 right there. And with that, we're missing 2, 4, 6 here. So with those two 6s, we can put a 6 in the middle. All right. Um, let's look and see what we've got here. We've got a 5 and a 5, so that's a 5. Now we've got a 2 here. Let's see. 2 here. One of these is a 2. We have ghost 2's there. So we know that can't be a 2. And so that can't be a 2. That can't be a 2. We have ghost 2's there. So that can't be a 2. So there's a 2 there. Now another way we could have found that is we know these are two four twins right there. And uh, 
in box 9 here, one of these has to be a 2. So that covers these two rows for box 7. And we got a 2 here already, so we knew that would have to be a 2, using double row elimination there. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see. We've got a 2 and 2 there now, and a 2 there, so we can put a 2 here, and 2, 2, 2, so we can put a 2 there. All right, let's look at row 1 here. Let's see what we're missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. 4, 7, and 8. There's a 4 and an 8, so that's a 7 right there. All right, you can't solve the 4 or 8 yet. All right, now let's look at um, let's look look at box 8 here. This one's kind of interesting because we've got 2 4 here already. We've got a 1 7 and 8 in this row. 2 and 4 are already, these are twins, so we have, um, we know this can't be, these can't be 1, 7, or 8 here, and so we've only got three cells left outside of this row. We've got a 1, 7, and 8 here, so these are 1, 7, 8 triplets. So let's see what these two numbers are. 1, 2, 3, one of them's a 3, 4, Five. The other one's a five. So these are three five twins. So we have one seven eight triplets, two four twins, and three five twins. So we can't solve any of those, but we can solve this one because it's the only number left in this row that we don't know about yet, and that's a four. So, uh, and another way we could have found that one is we've got. Uh, four there, so one of these is a four, and we've got two four twins here. So using double row elimination again, we could have found that four there, just like we found the two. All right, and then with that four, we can solve these four eight twins here that we found a minute ago. All right. And uh, I've got an 8 here and 8 here. 8 there, 8. So let's see if we can find an 8 here. One of these is an 8. Oh, we've got 6 and a 6 here, so that's a 6. And we know that's an 8. And we can also, since we filled in that 8 there, we can solve the 1-8 twins we knew about that, about there in box 4. All right, now let's use um, some unique rectangles here. We've got a, two 4 twins here. We've got two 4. These are 5 and 8 right here, the only two numbers left in this column. So, and there's a 4 there, so I can't, this can't be a 4. So it's two, four. So with these two four twins right there, and these fours right here, we know neither of these can be a two using unique rectangles. This can't be a two, because it's five or an eight. So we know that's a two right there. All right, and then with that, we can solve the four and the two four twins right there. And we can also solve the one two twins that we knew about right there. And we can solve these two numbers. One, three, oh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and seven are missing there, so that's a one, that's a seven. All right, and uh, let's see what we're missing here. These are five and eight, so these are, these are one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three and four missing there. So we can fill those in with that four. All right. Let's
let's see what else we can do here. Now we've got a three here and a three there, so that's a three. All right, we're only missing two numbers here. One, seven, one and seven. There's a seven there, so we can solve those. All right, now what are we missing here? One, five, one and five, so we can solve those. All right, now we've got a seven here, seven here, seven here, seven here, so that's a seven. And with, and with this five, we can solve the five eighths here. And we got three five here and one eight. Three five one eight one six five eight. Hmm, can't solve any of those yet. So let's look at these um, these two columns here. Three seven. Okay, eight nine. So we got three and seven there. With that seven, we can solve those and we're missing four and five there one two three four five six seven eight nine so we can solve those now we've only got one number missing in this row that's uh let's see five one three five one so that's a three and what are we missing here let's see we have one eight three five 5, 8, 1, 6. So we can solve the three fives with that three right there. And th with, let's see, 1, 6, 5, 8. With that five there, we can solve the five eights. And then we have 1, 8 here, so we can solve those. And we have 1, 6 there, so we can solve those. And we've got four, six there. We can solve those. And we've got it. All right. Well, uh, like I said, that puzzle wasn't the hardest puzzle in the world, but I liked it because there's lots of things you can do with it. You don't have to just routinely and mundanely look for ones and twos and threes. There's lots of different patterns and things that you can use to find uh, numbers. And that's what makes, in my opinion, that's what makes puzzles fun. Well, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you again next week.